What is up, y'all? Not in Monogatari 3 is here. Caramel Ribbon, Custard? I thought it was Custard. Is it? Is it Custard? Is that? Is that what it's called? Because then I guess to play on words. Oh, I should probably add Monogatari to that. Whoopsies. Oh, I guess it is Custard. I've been reading it wrong the last, however many weeks since, you know, it was first announced or everyone was first talking about it. Whatever. I finished watching the episode already. It's the first thing I did after my run this morning. And it was great, uh, as always. And I've been loving the off-season style so far. Obviously a little sad for the anime onlys uh, seeing Sodachi without seeing her development. That kind of got her here. But it's okay. That's, you know, I'm, I'm over it with in terms of the adapting stuff in the weird order. Because it kind of is what it is at this point. And we're probably going to get it all eventually anyways. And it's all been pretty great what we have gotten. And, uh, yeah, uh, Nanako Draw is a great arc. And this is the, this opening, I, I've already seen it, by the way. I mean, in the full, ver I was going to react to the full version, but the full version, full version isn't out yet. So, you know, um, but yeah, uh, I, so I guess we're, we're just going to react to it just cause I kind of want to talk about it and it's good. It's kind of completes the trilogy uh, of sorts. For now, I mean, once we get Nautico around, which will take even longer, considering we need everything else before it. So I don't think they'll do that in the weird order as much. I don't know. I mean, the only one I know for sure is they're saving Masubi for the end, I'm assuming. And then, like, I can guess that they're going to do Kishot, fuck, I forgot what it's called, Asoria something from Waza. I don't think they're doing Sabasa sleeping or Karen Ogre. And then someone is dying out there. Rest in peace to them. But uh, I'm trying to record a Monogatari video. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I've been loving the, the adaptation and I'm, I'm, I've loved this opening. And uh, cause not only is it a new Nautico opening, not only is it new uh, Yotsuke opening, but it's both. It's both. Because I felt so missed out on. And hopefully we get one in the Blu ray, but not getting. A Yotsugi opening for uh how am I blanking on these names? Uh for for Suki Undo, although now that I'm looking at it, it probably would have just been a Sukihi opening. Although they could have also done a duet thing with, with Sukihi and in Orinoki. I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh Monogatari is back, man. Monogatari is back. Uh let's get it. And yeah, uh yeah, I'll talk more. I already have all my thoughts already. Oh yeah. I, I'm not going to be able to get all the references in here because I've only seen it once. But off the bat, the Game of Life Nisei reference. You know, the green hair thing that I always joke about hating. I don't actually hate it. I just I, I just always laugh about how people who haven't seen Monogatari assume she has green hair when she obviously doesn't. But I've always assumed it was like a snake reference because snakes are green. Although the snakes in Monogatari are white all the time. But I don't know. It, it could stand for things because like the colors probably represent something. Uh maybe emotionally or something. I don't remember. I remember looking into it a while ago, but it's been a while since I've done like those types of deep dives. Uh, but there's all, they always mean something, but obviously the multiple monogatries, the, the Nanako's openings do a lot of callbacks. Obviously Moso express was just the anti run. Eye circulation. This one kind of brings it a bit more full circle with run. Eye circulation, not only musically, um, which I've loved the remixes in the OST itself, by the way, of her first opening, uh, during the actual scenes it's been great and, and yeah we're, we're really bringing it full circle here which works for a character too and it looks great the song is great too obviously this song more than most of express has steals a lot of the beats from not literally stealing the beat from Renai circulation but stealing like or not stealing but using certain uh kind of I don't know, tempo-wise or something, I don't know. This just takes certain parts from Renai Circulation in terms of, like, callbacks in the music. I wouldn't necessarily it says say say it reuses any of it, but you kind of get what I mean if, you, if you've if you heard it. I'm sure. Obviously the say no thing. But it definitely has a similar vibe overall I guess this is what I'm trying to explain I don't know I'm not really great at explaining that type of thing 
referencing the goat Kaiki with the the fuck I forgot what this game is called the the cat's cradle or some shit. And it slaps like I already mentioned like five times. See like that little thing the t t like that's from Renai Circulation right? The I don't know. See, I could be tripping. It's just, it just, it, I can't explain it, but I feel like in in the heart, I, I can feel the red eye circulation. Uh, no, I'm not a red eye circulation dick writer. I do love the song, obviously, but I'm a bit of a Moso Express guy personally. But who knows? Maybe I'm a caramel ribbon uh, custard guy now. Ogi, Ogi, Ogi appearance. Where's Sodachi? <laughs> we need Sodachi. Put her in, she's probably right there in this hand. Or is that, wait, actually, I didn't even notice there was someone in the other hand. I see purple though, so maybe it's Hitagi? Probably is. Yeah, great opening. Like I said, I probably missed like a billion references or something but look i'm just here for the ride and, and when the full song comes out i don't know if i'll react to it as like my first time listening but i'll definitely react to it maybe no or maybe i won't i don't know it, it's easy to react to things before the anime drops kind of like undead or like like a uh, certain just openings to things but once the anime drops it's kind of harder because i always see it in the anime first and i'm not so much of a reaction monger that I would fuck up my enjoyment of an anime that I like, especially one of my favorite series. Obviously, my favorite novel. I want to say it's my favorite anime just because Ava moves me, but definitely like top two or three. I, I don't know. I haven't ranked my favorite anime in a long time, but um, I wouldn't ruin the experience of one of my favorite anime by putting the reaction content over it, you know. But uh, I do have a Monogatari video dropping soon on my anime channel, Eddie Hates Anime. So go. Subscribe there. Trust me. It's a banger. It's the most important and meaningful video I've ever made in my life uh, I'll give you a spoiler of what it's called which monogatari character is bawling the most It'll be coming out in the next few months or so in the schedule So if you want to see that video Eddie hates anime, uh, it is in the description Go subscribe there uh, And yeah, let me know what you guys think of this opening Let me know if you guys are excited for the rest of this arc if you're liking the arc so far Especially if you're an anime only I am interested to see what you think because Obviously, if someone who's read it, I have my own expectations, but someone who doesn't know anything of it has different expectations. So, it's always fun to, to, to look at that. Because I, I, I watch, like, you know when you get someone into the series and you, you kind of feel obligated to watch it with them? I've gotten so many people into Monogatari that I feel obligated to watch the even the new shit with them. Especially if I'm already hanging out with them anyways. So, I've seen, like, two novel readers' perspectives alongside with mine. One of them being uh, the Goat Septicin, who makes really good Monogatari content. You should check him out. And then I have like three or four friends. I'm trying to think. No, it's three. I said four. I try to make it sound bigger than it actually was. Three friends who I've gotten into it that are anime onlys. And I get to watch it with them and seeing their reactions. It's very fucking fun. Um, so, yeah. It's, it, Monogatari being back, it, 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 it brings joy into my life. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'm out. Subscribe.